Alex has told stories and someone with an unusual hobby. Oh, <laughs> sounds terrific. That's Wheel of Fortune, 5.30 today. Machines Triple Stripe turns cleaning your teeth into fun. Triple Stripe, red to fight plaque, white for fluoride, blue for cool taste. Machines Triple Stripe puts a beam on your face. And now, in great new bubble mint flavour. you call a loaf baked soft with rich grains and all the goodness of the country in it? Buttercup call it Multigrain Plus with barley for that delicious full grain taste with a little bit of malt for a gentle nutty flavour and a touch less salt. Mm -hmm. Buttercup Multigrain Plus with barley. The most delicious and nutritious multigrain you'll ever enjoy. Buttercup mm -hmm. Multigrain Plus. Delicious mm -hmm. and nutritious. They strive with all their hearts to cover their country in glory. They are the pride of Australia. From July 25th, join the Seven Network in Barcelona, birthplace of new legends. Presenting the Olympics AMP for all your insurance, investment and superannuation needs. Hey everybody, a toast to State University's newest co-ed who not only is finishing getting her college degree, but also finds time to cook a great meal like this for her family. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, but man. actually, my only contribution to this meal is choosing between regular and extra crispy. You know, JJ's grandma's going back to college, too. They're going to study her in anatomy class. Gee, all we get to do is cut up frogs. Hey, where's Kip? He's out with that Sasha again. That's every day for the last two weeks. I didn't see my wife that much when we were married. A thousand pardons. I know I'm late. There was a photo finish in the ninth race. Eddie, you weren't invited to dinner. <laughs> Plus my soul, you're right. It was at the Rutherfords. <laughs> Sorry. Dig in, Eddie. Oh, well, thank you, Mrs. Cleaver. Oh, and if you could pack up any leftovers, I promised Gert I'd take her home a doggy bag. Hey, Wally, you still coming over Saturday to watch the fight? Oh, yeah, I'll be there. Hmm. Uh, I guess you're invited to, Theodore. I wouldn't want you to put yourself out. Yeah, you're right. Forget it. <laughs> everyone, everyone, Kip has fabulous news. Fabulous? You won't believe it. Our band got a gig. The soda shop decided to have live entertainment, and Freddie talked the owner into letting them play. Actually, Freddie slipped the owner 15 bucks and promised to change the grease in his fryer. <laughs> you know, Kip, when I was your age, I had a band. Oh, Dad? I was wondering, could we rehearse here after school? Yeah, it's okay with me, if, if it's okay with your grandmother. I'll be in school. 12 miles should be a safe distance. <laughs> Great, thanks. Hey, guys, squeeze in. Sasha? You want anything? A Pellegrino water would be fabulous. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think I had the last one with my lunch. <laughs> I lost you to a fire in the gym. Oh, fire in the gym. Oh, fire in the gym. simply fabulous love song. <laughs> but I think it could be even greater. Yeah? See, here, where it says, 
My heart was beating rapid when I walked up to your door, but then your father told me I could see you no more. Wouldn't it have more impact if you changed I could see you no more to I could find you in the morgue? Yeah, that's much more romantic. Now you're writing a song. Now we're writing a song. Hey, Kip, look what I got for you. You're right. Your nose is bigger. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mr. Cleaver. I was just leaving. I have to pick my dog up at the vet. He's getting his ears pierced. <laughs> what a woman. Well, this is for you. A synthesizer? Oh, wow. Dad, you bought me a synthesizer? Well, no, not actually. I rented it. Uh, let's see how long your band lasts. I mean, look at the Who. They break up after 20 years, and they're stuck with all that equipment. Dad, this is great. And as soon as the band starts bringing in some money, you know, I'm going to pay you back. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. It's my pleasure. Uh, you know, I hate to bring this up, but uh, you know how your grandmother feels about girls in the room. But, Dad, we weren't doing anything. I know, but those are the house rules. Well, when can I have a girl in my room? When I can, you can. <laughs> Related to Jimi Hendrix. Oh, give it up, Stanley. Your mom lost the paternity suit. Hey, Sasha, we're in here. Hi. Hi, Kip. I typed up the lyrics of the song we were working on. Uh, what lyrics? Fire in the gym. I thought we were working on these together. Yeah, we were, but I, uh... I kind of got inspired. Let's give it a try, guys, all right? Come in on the chorus. One, two, a one, two, three. You were so pretty. You were so cool. You had to be the hottest looking girl in school. I sat across from you in lab every day. But you wouldn't take the time to look my way. I finally got the courage to ask you for a date I nearly flipped out when you said I can't wait My heart was beating rapid to get you in my gaze But all my dreams died with you in that place Hi. I let myself in. I hope you don't mind. Well, wait till you see what I got you for the gig. You're gonna look better than me. Need help getting dressed? Ah, uh, no thanks. Bathroom's a mess. <laughs> you were really killer at rehearsal yesterday. I wouldn't have been if you weren't there. I just made a few minor suggestions. You made them work. You know, you really have a terrific voice. I know. <laughs> it was really a kick singing with you. Yeah, I don't remember ever having that much fun with a guy. Well, maybe once. Are you sure you gave me the right bag? Did I ever? Just one thing. Perfect. Do you really think we sound good together? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do this together all the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we could. I mean, you could be in the band, you know? Me? Sure. What about Freddy? Don't worry about Freddy. You just leave everything to me. Okay. 
You got a new member. Hey, are you sure we should be doing this? Oh, yeah. Academy Award winner Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke in the happiest family movie of them all. Walt Disney's Mary Poppins, 8 o'clock tonight after the Golden Girls. David Jones pricing policy ensures that our prices are as low or even lower than our competitors, even when they're on sale. And at David Jones, we're proud of the selection, quality and service we provide our customers. We also offer our own guarantee for your complete satisfaction. So when our pricing policy ensures you pay no more, why shop anywhere else? Shots the edge on flavor. What gives them the edge on taste? The quick shots edge is edge your goodness. So serve up that bomb fresh taste. First, edge will put country flavor in cans. Now they put that same flavor in new quick shots. Now this quick and healthy, even lower in fat, salt, and cholesterol. It takes just 75 seconds and it's delicious. Country flavor you can be. Some action and I want some fun. Wanna get out and be number one. I'll swing through the trees like Indiana too. With scouts, there's nothing that I can't do. Cause I want some action, yeah, real satisfaction. Something out of the ordinary. So look out, world, cause here we come now. The scouts and me. This is it, the final week of the Home and Away scene-by-scene -scene mega draw. <laughs> this week we're giving away five Amstrad computers and 100 Levi's fashion packs. Get your entry details in the Sunday Herald Sun's TV Extra magazine. And remember, you could be driving away in one of two brand new Subarus. Freddie, you were playing too loud again. Too loud? Where are we, the Christian science reading room? You were drowning me out. Well, my dear, when faced with such an opportunity... <laughs> Kip, do you think I was playing too loud? Freddie, maybe you could take a little off the fuzz box, okay? Okay, I'll tone it down some. All right, boys, let's pick it up from the bridge. One, two, three, four. Now I'll never be the same as you. Down in flames, I see the panic in your eyes as I hear your frantic cry. Ow! Ow, ow! Ow! Ow, ow! wondering maybe we should give you the solo give the number more of a funky groove instead of his distortion distortion you mean like in your singing what's wrong with the way my voice sounds you ever run over a cat <laughs> you know freddie that was really uncalled for kip can i see you in the den sure alone I had great trepidation when I agreed to let Vampirella in the band. But I did it for you. And I appreciate that. But she's got to go, because I promised my father I'd never hit a woman under 21. Freddie, I think you're letting your ego undermine the band here. Now, since Sasha's joined, we have a totally new sound. You're suffering from the delusion that the band has improved only because she has you totally wrapped around her little finger. Oh, I get it. You're jealous, because once again, I have a girlfriend and you sit at home watching your snakes mate. Look, Kip, I don't care what you do in your personal life, but when it comes to the band, it's time for you to bounce the bimbo. No way, Freddy. Then can I do it? She stays! Okay, it's her or me. This Lopez is one bad hombre. 
In his last five fights, he's put four guys in the hospital and killed the other one. Some people say the boxing's not a sport. Yeah, this is gonna be a great bout. Come on, hey, Eddie, I know these pay-per-view events are expensive, so I wanna chip in. Put your money away. It's no good here. Come on, I insist. Well, okay. However, uh, I did want to tell you, I'm getting the fight for free. I tapped into my neighbor's cable. <laughs> hey, will you look at this? Two white guys fighting. I hate the preliminaries. <laughs> what are you, raised in a barn? Wipe your feet. Get me another brew. What's the matter, Freddy? I gave Kip an ultimatum. Either his girlfriend leaves the band or we do. So who'd you expect him to pick? I've seen this girl. Who cares if she can sing? I'd pay big bucks to see her jump around like she's got hot coals in her pants. Oh, did you see that shot? The band was supposed to be about Kip and me and the guys, making music and having fun. It had nothing to do with making money. You disgust me. <laughs> now, Freddie, from what I'm hearing, this doesn't sound like you and Kip. Actually, it sounds exactly like Kip. He's been doing this to me for years. Simply put, he's nothing but a fair-weather friend. Uh, you know better than that. Kip's just a little distracted right now. Speaking of distracted, would you, uh... Every time some amply filled sweater sashays by, I'm on the back burner until the hussy of the week casts him aside. Come on, get off the ropes! Get off the... Uh, I'm sorry, Freddy, but don't expect me to put down my nephew. I mean, you two guys may be having your problems now, but uh, Kip's been a very loyal friend to you. Loyal? Loyal is picking up the phone to say hello. Loyal has seen if Sasha's got a friend for me, or at least letting me know what he got off her. Uh, well, you do have a legitimate beef there. Come on, Freddy. Kip's a good guy. You know that. Trust me. Your friendship is going to survive this. It's a lovely sentiment, sir. But this time when Kip comes crawling back, I won't be there. Nice going, Sam. What you do to upset him so much? Give me my money back. <laughs> sounded dangerously close to rock and roll. Ah, oh, thanks, Kip. You know, when I was your age, I had a band, Beaver and the Trappers. The Trappers were Richard and Whitey and Gilbert and Larry Mondello. Sounds like a real super group. Oh, yeah, we were pretty good, all right. We used to play at the Student Union and all the school dances. One time we got booked for a fraternity party, and we got $250. Not bad. 50 bucks each. No, 62.50. We never paid Larry. Anyway, we took that money, and we recorded a song that I wrote called Happiness Is. It was in hi-fi and everything. What's hi-fi? Uh, never mind. Anyway, we talked the guy down at the record store into selling a consignment. We'd all stand around all day. Anytime anybody would buy one, we'd all go nuts. One time, Larry hugged Whitey so hard he cracked three of his ribs. <laughs> well, what happened after that? Well, after a while, we graduated, and we all kind of went our separate ways. But you know... I wouldn't trade those days for anything in the world. You'll see what I mean. No, I won't. Band broke up. You want to talk about it? <sighs> Not now. You want to hear happiness is? No. Oh, hi, Mr. Cleaver. Could I talk to Kip for a minute? Sure, Sasha. Kip, I know you feel bad about what happened with Freddie, but believe me, it's for the best. Now we can start our own band. I came up with the fabulous name. Sasha. Sasha and, and, and what? Just Sasha. One name is so European. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and I think we should throw out fire in the gym. I wrote this last night. It's much better. It's called Worship My Body. What's wrong with fire in the gym? Two formula. We're going to streak our hair pink, and we're going to put you on a weight training program so you can play with your shirt off. Hold it. I have no intention of being... Kip, you'll get used to it. This is only the beginning. Wrong. This is the end. Look, 
I'm not taking my shirt off. Sasha is a stupid name for anything. And you know something else? This is the last time you come into my room. Kip! And another thing. The word is fabulous. <laughs> incredible. Hey, we got a lot of people to see, but as far as I'm concerned, you got the job. <laughs> yeah, peace, right? Boy, these suck eggs. We got no choice but to cancel the gig. Face it, comrades. It's over. Hi, guys. Did I just hear something? I, uh, understand you have an opening for a keyboard player. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. We just found a guy named Gabriel, and he's fabulous. <laughs> Look, about Sasha. You know, I told that girl to take a hike. You were right. She had me wrapped around her little finger. Really? I never noticed. Freddie, what can I say? I mean, I totally lost it for this girl. She looked different. She smelled different. She ripped my shirt, Freddy. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know about girls like that. I'm too busy sitting at home watching my snakes, mate. Hey, come on, I didn't mean that. I don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, when Ollie does something stupid, you know, I can see it. When one of my friends does something stupid, you know, I can see that, too. But when I act like a total jerk, I'm the last one to find out. Mm. I'll see you around. Kip. Yeah? As my Aunt Estelle said before she entered the clinic, recognition is the first step toward recovery. <laughs> you, uh, think there's hope for me? Well, you haven't been acting like a real horse's patoot lately. But somewhere inside of you lurks the other end of the horse. That loyal friend that convinced that student nurse that I was a sophomore in college. Yeah, I did do that, didn't I? <laughs> and it was you who stood up for me during that travesty of justice in juvenile court. Hey, somebody had to after your father refused to be a character witness. Hey, he wanted to be there. It's just that he paid top dollar for the tickets to the RV oh, show. Oh, come on. <laughs> Freddie, the Civic Center's a block from the courthouse. It doesn't matter how far you know, away you're always it was. making was excuses at least for him. He always does this Look, to you. Are we going to sit here and argue about my father all day? Or are we going to rehearse? Rehearse? What about Gabriel? Yeah, well, don't worry about him. I don't think he could find his way back here. <laughs> hey, you know the beginning of Fire in the Gym? I thought it'd be a lot better if we started like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'd like to bring up a very special person to jam with us. Former leader of Beaver and the Trappers, my dad. Happiness is our being, being left alone. is 
Ah, living, living out on your own. Happiness is having your feet on the ground. Walking away, you know you'll never be found. Messing your mind, and most important of all, to be free. Happiness is having a girl of my own. Taking her out and always being alone with me. Happiness is, 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 happiness is,